you listen here very carefully, this uh, common salt, uh, if you take for example in our home only, have you noticed it? If you keep the salt uh, outside, exposed to the atmosphere, it will become wet. Have you noticed it guys? Common salt, common salt, if you expose to the atmosphere, exposed to the atmosphere, it will become wet. Have you noticed it? Exposed to yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Not closed properly, not close the lid. It will become wet. Have you noticed it or not? Please respond me. You may see it. Correct? Why? Why it is happening means I will say this you must know. That is the reason I am saying. Actually, because of magnesium chloride present inside this common salt. Common salt also contains little percentage of other salts. So, this magnesium chloride is the salt, understanding, which is present in the common salt, which will absorb the moisture. What will happen, Ra? Which will absorb moisture. That is the reason why if you will expose the common salt to the atmosphere, it will become wet because it contains water. Little amount of magnesium chloride. What it contains? Little amount of magnesium. That is the Will you remember, guys? So this is all about it. And also we know what is the major importance of chlorine. Chlorine we are using in killing the germs and bacteria, etc., etc., in water. Understanding disinfection of water, we are using that chlorine gas. So this is all about the importance of non-metals and their users. So if you see here, till now I have taught you what is metals and what is non-metals. Is it as yes, guys? Pranav, Nitinak, Arya, yes or no? So I have taught you yes, sir. what yes, is sir. and what is non-metals. So now you can see, you may be observed, all these metals have similar properties. Whatever the metals I have taught you, all they have similar properties. Same way, all the non-metals have also what? They are also having similar properties. But the properties of metals are opposite to the uh, properties of what? Non-metals. That is you should remember. So, the properties of non-metals and uh, 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 properties of metals are completely opposite to each other. So, that is why we should study now what is the physical properties of metals and same way what are the physical properties of non-metals and next we will study later what are chemical properties of metals and chemical properties of non-metals. Please respond me. Yes or no? That is what yes, we study now. So, let us come to here, physical properties of metals. So, the next concept which we are going to study is, I hope you all understand, what is that? Physical properties of metals. So, this is all not new to you, but little bit more in detail and I will give more precise uh, examples uh, coming from the class 8. Class 8 and 10, that is the only difference. So, physical properties. Class 10 already have been studied, I think, 11, uh, 10 or 11 physical properties of metals. Is it yes, guys? Yes, sir. No. Around 10 or 11 physical properties. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are going to study and here little bit one or two more will study. So all the physical properties everybody must lie on your tongue. Whenever I will ask exceptional cases, including exceptional cases, it is must be on your tongue. Everybody must say immediately. So all of you keep ending. Physical properties of physical properties of what it is, Ra? Metals. Understand? So, shall we start now, guys? So, all you know that. Anybody can give the, what is the basic definition of harini? Can you give the basic definition of metals? I want to know. Just basic definition of metals. We have been studied at starting of this chapter. What is that? Metals are what, guys? Metals are? Please respond me. Yeah. Three words I have taught you. Do you remember that words and tell me? Anybody? Yalamati? Akshaya? Akilar Fan, Padma. They are malleable in nature. They are. 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 They are
First property, the first physical property of metals is understand ra? metals are malleable. That is you should remember. What is that? Metals are malleable in nature. Malleable. So what do you mean by malleable, Ratina? Pranav. They can they can be beaten into what? They can be beaten into written into written into thin sheets with what into thin sheets thin with, sheets. Hammer, sir. with the hammer with the hammer one more important keyword i said what is that anyway? without without breaking without breaking very good ashika are you there without breaking that is you should remember so without breaking is the keyword so this is what the first physical property of metals everybody should remember akshaya you also metals are malleable in nature yes. they can be beaten into thin sheets thin sheets with a hammer without breaking so this property is only called as what this property is only called as malleability what we should call it this property of malleability so the property of forming into thin sheets is only called as malleability will you able to remember guys please respond me yes sir no what a uh, first no it is lot of things i should teach which is highest malleable that is all understand ra simply you cannot go kartikeya definition heading Nobody wants examples only. They will ask in exam. That is, you should remember. So, if you take a piece of aluminium metal, for example, if you go to Pudukkottai Besar, so many of nowadays, so many of them they are packing in the a uh, chapati or as well as all the curries, rasam, sambar, etc. In aluminium covers only. Have you noticed it? Aluminium foils. Yes, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Silver coating, aluminium foils. Because if you we'll take a piece of aluminium metal and if you we'll place it on a block of iron and beat with a hammer, understanding four or five times, then we can see aluminium metal turns into what? Into a, a thin aluminium sheet without breaking. If you we'll keep on stretching, if you we'll keep on hitting, slowly aluminium sheet will start expanding so that we can say aluminium is a water malleable is it a sir no guys it is malleable in nature and it is showing the property of which property ra malleability what is that ra malleability so malleability is an important characteristics of metals what is that very important first property the important understanding ra important characteristics characteristics property property of metals that is what it is malleability so if any substance if it is showing malleability 90% we can confirm it is what guys it is the metal that is you should remember so most of the metals are malleable in nature exemption is there most of the metals are malleable in nature but if you we'll take a best malleable metals all of you note it down best malleable metals anybody what is the best malleable metals sir gold iron gold and gold what is that best aluminium understand gold and gold and silver next if we'll take understand aluminium highly malleable best is different highly is different exam based upon the word mcq if they ask you best malleable metals gold and silver copper and aluminium like that then you have to choose gold and silver if they are asking highly malleable then we can choose next two elements what is that guys you have to respond me what is that ra aluminium and copper understand harini yalni okay these are called as highly malleable metals so if we take all these metals can be beaten with a hammer to form very thin sheets so that thin sheets only we should called as foils what we should call ra foils Foil. Only, for example, if you we'll take, you may be heard a word called as aluminium foil. Have you heard, Ra? Have you heard or not? Sir. Yes, sir. 
So you can take so aluminium foils we can say so the thin sheets is only called as foils. For example, if we'll take understand silver. So silver metal can be hammered into thin silver foils because of its best. It is a uh, highly malleable in nature and it is best malleable metal. That is why we can say similar way you can say aluminium metal is also quite malleable and it can be converted into thin thin aluminium metal sheets understanding so which are called as aluminium foils what you should call ra aluminium foils understand now i want to say one real life example how many of you ate the sweets have you ate the sweets till now please respond me at least once sweet ra sweets yes sir yes. And it will go suppose in Pudukote only garment sweets. Silver coating will be there on the surface of sweet. Have you noticed it, guys? Silver yes, coating. Sir. Yes. Respond me, yes, Pranav. Yes, but silver yes, coating. Actually, it is a, it is actually original silver. Silver that much thin layers they can form because of it. Why? It is highly malleable in nature. But that sweets also very cost effective. Correct, or guys. Correct or not? Because of yes, that silver is also they will add the cost and it is too much cost effective sweets. So then if we can eat that silver. Yes, we can eat. Nothing will happen. It will be good for our health only. That is why they are using in the manufacturing sweets. So they will ask you an MCQ. Which metal are using in manufacturing sweets? Which metal? Silver. 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 What is the importance of silver in manufacturing sweets? Anybody? Anybody? Just for decoration, nothing. What is that? Ra? What is that? What is that purpose? That's good for our health, sir. For decoration. Understand, Ra? So, silver is using in manufacturing of seeds. Seeds only for decoration purpose. Now, recently you may be heard in Google, you may be watch news, the world's costliest ice cream. Yes, yes, Arya. Uh, that is what I am coming to here. World's costliest ice cream. Around 75,000 rupees one ice cream cost. It is made with a gold coating. What is that? Uh? Made with what? Gold coating. Gold. Understand? And some hotels, if you go now, our world's richest hotels, they are providing with uh, the sweets with uh, gold coating only. So gold also we can use, but familiar is silver metal. So now only nowadays only gold coating and all this all uh, surplus money people they are using that and all nonsense. So okay, that doesn't matter. So we can use silver usually for which purpose? Decorative purpose. Understand, Ra? Yes or no? Now. We will purchase chapati and all. Olden days, they used to pack in newspaper and all. Nowadays, you may be see biryani leg piece and all. They are folding in aluminium foil and they are sending. Have you seen it? Have you received it? Parcel, swiggy and all. Aluminium foil, they will uh, they will but tightly heat. close this uh, and all. No, yes, because heat, heat should not be exchanged. So that it, the, our food should be very hard. That is why they are folding in aluminium foil. Because aluminium foil, it will wrap around the food. It will acquire the shape of the food very easily. Do you understand, guys? Please respond. Yes, that is the reason. So, we are using this aluminum foils, we are using in packing food items like biscuits, inside biscuit cover. Have you seen it? Inside every biscuit cover, you can check it. If you are home, if you have a biscuit packet now, open it and check it. Inside silver coating is there or not? Karthikeyan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So, all the chocolates, you can check any chocolate cover, inside silver coating will be there. Is it yes or no? That is. Same way. Most of the medicine tablets, silver coating will be there. Have you noticed it backside? If you we'll take, suppose, plastic, it is coming. Backside, it will be silver. Or else, aluminum foil. Have you seen aluminum foil? Tablets itself will come in aluminum foil. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, that is you should remember. So, aluminum foil are used for packing food items like so many biscuits, chocolates, medicines and how many of you seen cigarette box just for casting? I am asking casually. Cigarette box. Have you seen cigarettes? Cigarette box. While next time if you visit any kind of normal shop, they are where they are opening the cigarette, cigarette box, you open, inside you can see that cigarette also packing with the aluminum only. Understand guys? 
aluminum foil only that cigarette packet also has been done so everything everything is made up of this aluminum everything is packing with the, all the food items is packing with the aluminum only next for example you can take milk bottle caps you have milk bottles milk tin cans cans are made up of what basically tin milk cans are made up of what guys milk cans is made up of usually tin but aluminium tins also there aluminium tins aluminium caps also made up of aluminium foil understand same way aluminium sheets are using for making cooking utensils what is that guys cooking utensils understand ra so like lot of applications we have and we can see copper metal how many of you are having copper bottle copper copper metal is also what it is highly malleable metal so that is why we people are using in manufacturing in bottles is it yes or no ra please respond me copper bottles we have next in our home you have copper utensils also so many of you are having copper utensils is it yes guys Please respond me, and you can see uh, majorly. You can take, for example, and big big containers also. We can use copper only because highly malleable and good conductor of heat. Olden days and all cooking purpose also they used to use copper bowls only. Have you noticed it? They used to eat in copper bowls. They used to cook in copper bowls and etc. etc. Nowadays a trend. If anybody is using Dr. Coppers copper water bottle, have you seen it? Very costly, eight hundred or nine hundred one bottle. Yes, Dena. Arya. Yes, sir. That is it. So all these are what because of highly malleable in nature. Same way, we are using iron sheets also. Iron also is a good good uh, malleable metal. So if you take iron, what is the importance of iron, guys? Anybody can say iron. Iron is iron is also quite malleable metal. Iron is also quite. Malleable metal. So, can you able to say what is the importance of Padmavarshini, Yalni, or Varshini? For outbuilding, they are used. Uh... Yeah. So, metal which can be hammered to form iron sheets. Understand, ra? So, iron sheets. We can form iron sheets. These are used to make boxes. Understand? Boxes. Next, buckets. You can see iron buckets are there, and as well as drums, big big drums, oil transporting drums, and as well as water tanks, water tanks, etc. etc. We can use with what? Iron sheets only because we have a lot of application. Yes, car nitina is very good. Metal cars, so many places we have importance of iron. So these are the first physical properties of metal. What is the first physical property? Ra? Metals are malleability. Malleable. Malleable. So that property shown by malleable is nature is called as what? Malleability. Understand ra? And this is the important characteristic property of metals. That's all. So now this is all about it. Everything is MCQ. They can ask anything. You cannot say, sir, this is I have not studied. You have to remember all the things. Now, what is the second property, Harini? Yalamati? Can you able to say? Second property. That is you should remember. What is that? Metals are metals are ductile. 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 What do you mean by ductile? Can be drawn. 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 Breaking. Metals are that highest malleable metal. What is that? Anybody? Highest malleable metal. Gold. Aluminium. Aluminium. Hey. Understanding. Best, best malleable metal is gold. Highly malleable metals are copper and aluminium. Silver. You should remember. Okay. Best metals are two. What is that? Gold and silver. Gold and silver. Same way you can see. Understand? Metals are ductile, that is, metals can be drawn or stretched into what? Thin wires. Understand, Ra? Thin wires. So, if you take, uh, so for example, metals like copper, we have a copper wires. After copper wire, which wire, Ra? Aluminium wires. Understand, Ra? Next, if you take, uh, if you go to the chemistry lab, first experiment in the first chapter, magnesium ribbons, burning of magnesium ribbon. Do you remember, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
so magnesium and same way it will take ions understand ion they are in the form of wires also so in the form of wires they have been available so this property which allows the metals to draw into thin wires this property is only called as what is this property called guys what is this property called as property called as ductility what is that ductility all of you should remember so the property is known as ductility so if you take the second important characteristics of metals what is that metals are ductile nature that is sir, only copper only we can draw into wire sir you can draw anything gold you can draw you can know 1 gram of gold you can draw 2 km wire understand kartik 1 gram of gold okay. If you are just stretching, 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 we can draw, we can make maximum two kilometer wide. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. But basically, they are very cost effective, correct? That is why we will start with the copper and aluminium. Silver and gold are the, again, best ductile metals. Understand? But they are very highly cost effective. That is why. So, you remember, uh, ductility is the another important characteristic property of metals. You can say most of the metals are ductile in nature. But the ductility is not equal. Understand? Malleability is also the same thing. It is not equal for all the metals. Maybe most of the metals are ductile in nature, but the ductility is not same for all the metals. For example, if we'll take, understand? Ra? So, some of the metals are more ductile and some of the metals are less ductile. For example, if we'll take gold, understand? Ra? Gold. What is a gold? Ra? Gold is the best one or highest? Most ductile metal. What is that? Most ductile metal. Gold is the most ductile metal. So, just now I said, if you will take for example, example, one gram of gold, how much? Ra? One gram of gold, if you will take, we can draw a wire of how much? Two kilometers. Two kilometers two long. Kilometers. Understand, guys? Two kilometers long wire we can draw. So, means in the sense of very, very highly ductile in nature. Yes or no? Even it is not even visible to us. One gram means very, very less correct than Arya. Yes, guys, Arya? But you can understand. That's one. Gold we can draw two kilometers means how much ductile it is there. So, if you'll go next. Next to second. The second. The platinum, sir. Yeah, platinum and all, they are less only. They are not highly ductile. Okay, ra? gold is the best ductile. Next. Okay. So, most ductile metal is gold. Next, best ductile metal. Best ductile after Gold the and silver. Best, best ductile. Silver, sir. Silver. Understand, ra? Words you remember. Most means gold. Next one. Best means silver. That is you should remember. Okay, ra? Next, very ductile. Very ductile. Anybody? Best after very ductile. Very ductile. Aluminium. Aluminium. Understand? So, copper and aluminium are very ductile and drawn into thin copper wires and aluminium wires, which we are using as a what? Electric wires. Understand, guys? Which we are using as a what? Electric wires. Electric wires. All the homes is made up of either aluminium or so, copper wires only. Is it yes or no? All the electric circuits. Yes or no, Pranita? Yes, Pranita? Pranav? Dina? No response. That is. So, all are made up of what? Electric wires only. Aguilar fan, are you understanding Aguilar fan? Everything is there, very ductile in nature. That is why copper and aluminium wires, we are using it. So, now you can see. Next one. Iron, magnesium, tungsten. They are also quite ductile and they can be drawn into wires. So, tungsten we are using somewhere. Where we are using, guys? Tungsten. Anybody? Tungsten is the most flexible, flexible metal most flexible metal which one ra tungsten tungsten we are using somewhere Can any... where we are using tungsten? electric bulbs bulb, sir bulbs electric bulbs okay that is you should remember so, so i what have... tungsten sir yeah tungsten tungsten most flexible metal is tungsten iron magnesium and tungsten 
tungsten are also quite malleable quite malleable uh, sorry quite ductile in nature quite ductile understanding that and they can be drawn into thin wires now you can see iron wires are used for making what iron wires for example iron wires iron wires are we are using somewhere can you guess now nitinath arun gardegayan gardegayan pranita respond me pranita pranav yes how many of you know wire gauges wire gauges wire gauges ra like a mesh mesh you know mesh please respond me Wire gauges, you don't know. Wire gauges, mesh, mesh, yes, mesh. So they are using. I do you want to show me? I will show you. Wait. You will don't know this. Wire gauges, we can say. One minute. Like a piece, ra. You know that uh, drilling machines and all. We are using wire gauges. Just one minute. I will show you. You may be understand. For metal cuttings and all, this is guys. Have you seen it? Like a, we can see. This is called as wire gauges. Understand, ra? Like a blades, ra. We can say. Yes, understand, ra? This is called as wire gauges. Okay. For using for uh, cutting, polishing. Uh, for cutting the diamonds. Yes, yes, yes. Cutting and all, and uh, carpenters and all, they will use this. Have you noticed it? A uh, drilling. Yes, sir. Uh, that is what metal cuttings and all, metal surfaces polishing and all. This is what we should call it as wire gauge. What we should call guys? Wire gauges. Understand, Ra? Nobody will respond. That is. So here, what we are using? Iron wires only. Next, you can take magnesium wires. Magnesium wires. Where we are using? Anybody? Science experiment. Have you remembered? What is that called as? Magnesium. Magnesium. magnesium where we are using? Ah, uh, magnesium wires. We are using in burning in science experiments. That is for experiments. You can use laboratory. We are using in labo. Laboratory. Next, same way. Uh, a thin wires of tungsten. We are using in where? Tungsten wires. Electric bulb. Yes, tungsten bulbs. We are using in electric bulbs. Electric bulbs. That is you should remember. So this is all we can say. We can conclude from these two properties. We can conclude one point. What is that, guys? Can anybody guess? Anybody say? Metals are malleable and ductile. Is it yes or no, guys? Malleable and ductile. Yes. We can conclude that metals are both. Metals are what? Metals are malleable in nature, and as well as what? Malleable and ductile in nature. That is you should remember. Is it yes, guys? So due to this property of malleability and ductility. Most of the metals can be given into different shapes to make various articles, various objects, which is needed by us. So many having god ideals, chains, gold ornaments, understanding, etc. Different different designs we are making. Different persons is having different different gold kind of variety chains. So why this all? Because of why? Because that all the metals having a properties of what? The properties of malleable. and ductile because of this malleability and ductility only we can make different kind of articles articles means what different kind of shapes understanding different kind of articles means different kind of shapes by us because of these two properties only do you understand guys respond me yes or no so now if you'll understand this then the next property what is the third property can you guess it now guys anybody can you guess what is the third property Metals are conduct electricity. Conduct heat. First heat. Then electricity. So metals are good conductors of good conductors of all people will say to it is a combined property. But remember, good conductor of heat is one metal. Good conductor of electricity is another metal. Understand, guys? That is why don't combine together. Don't study together. Metals are good conductors of what? Good conductors of heat. Understand? Yeah. So why I am saying you this one? Because best conductor of heat is different metal, and best conductor of electricity is another metal. Do you understand, Ra? Please respond me. That is the reason. 
we must study this one separately so with this i will stop the today's class then tomorrow's we will study metals are good conductors of heat and as well as metals are good conductors of electricity like that tomorrow we will try to finish physical properties of metals and within this week we will go to the chemical properties of metals also metals also we will try to finish it uh, till where we have i think the extraction is not there correct guys Yes, guys. Respond me. Generator portion in metal, sir. Sir, non-metal. Metal to non. I am not understand. Please ask again. Sir, metals and non-metal having a deleted portion, no, sir. A deleted portion from. Uh, uh, I will say you till how do metals and non-metals will react? It is there. Formation of ions is there. Uh, cations. This is very big chapter, right? It will take time to teach. Understand? Formation of NATO ions, ionic bonds, and all. Lot of uh, uh, things are there in this chapter only. So metals and non-metals. It will take time. We'll study slowly. No worry. We don't have any hurry. But the main thing is. this chapter is the major chapter where you people will get understanding lot of questions lot of mcq questions because each and everything is mcq in this do you understand i think you may be understand by this time because next will come uh, ionic bond covalent bonds etc etc till there we have the syllabus for this chapter very very important chapter later only occurrence of metals will come like extraction and all that is deleted portion what is that that is deleted portion are you understand ra so till there everything is existed so we people all need to study this chapter it will take around till end of the september i think so this month in bega uh, in uh, instead of physics and uh, biology we will study this only because our term one syllabus is most important for us later only we will start the term two is it okay guys term two will follow slowly no issues okay this is the most important chapter so that every day every day will take class and every day saturday sunday will take one and a half hour class and we will try to finish before this uh, uh, as early as possible try to finish it but instead of physics and chemistry also we are, uh, physics and biology also will take this is only so that is you should remember and uh, you prepare very well occurrence of metals is deleted portion remain like a corrosion also till there it is existed very highly important uh, chapter this is so kindly all of you prepare well then with this i will stop tomorrow we'll meet guys thank you all of you bye everybody thank, thank you, you.